Hey, my 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 man. Go up street talk, street gods, street box, or come in the house. All right, uh, the turbo thought is. Uh, see you later, JP. Um, the the turbo thought is. Uh, gym is the point of the gym is live training, uh, not uh, not the other way around. So. I don't know, I think uh, you know, the funny thing with gym stuff like that is a lot of people live for the gym, but the point is the gym is for living, which means uh, the point of going to the gym or working out is it's kind of more of a chance and opportunity to instead of you know, killing time there. I think I'd be much more productive to go to the gym in order to just get a quick pump. Yeah. Do your thing, and then actually afterwards, you uh, just you know get your ass out the gym, and then yeah, do things which you care for, whether it be creative, artistic, productive, etc. Um, so that's my my idea that uh, don't do more one. Don't do more than one lift given a gym session. So I just did a rack pull. And I was like, oh, a chance to do some floor bench from and I just get your ass out of the gym. Uh, it was a two days a beautiful day. One of the pro tips I have about life is anytime the weather's good, never give yourself an opportunity to not be in the sun, right? It's like, yeah, the ultimate privilege nowadays world is to just be able to be out and about in the sun i mean one of the things that i mean there's a lot of things that suck about southern california but one of the good things is that it's not even the weather but the fact that it's like it's pretty bright and sunny most of the time which i personally like i think i'm like a plant i kind of thrive on uh uh i kind of thrive on uh, the sun and the lights um and actually even a cool thing about being in denver was even though it's cold at least it's nice and bright so you know i think i would, I would like i would like denver um and so even a lot of people, you know, seasonal defectiveness or order the thing on the East Coast during the winter times is, uh, I think it's two found, uh, two factors is one, um, during the winter months, people just spend more time indoors and they get less UV radiation on their skin and body. Uh, two, you know, just indoors more, you just can't be out and about. I think the human nature, we thrive most of our out in the real world even though it may be kind of shitty uh, to be just locked up indoors. Even like one thing I'm starting to think, I'm like, man, I, I hate going to indoor gyms. Like my ideal gym is outdoor gym, uh, Gold Gym Venice. You know, not a perfect gym either, but at least they have that outdoor working out area where I like to go there and catch some sun and warm up and stuff like that. Um, apparently there's a new Gold's Gym that also opened up in Cerritos that is supposed to be pretty good. I might, might give it a, a check out, but ultimately I thought it is it's better to stay more local and be able to walk and spend less time in a car in a place that's more shitty than to drive further out to a place which is undoubtedly superior. However, you just have to spend more time in a car. I think the, the ultimate privilege in cities will just never have to drive. You can just walk, walk everywhere. Um, and that's the upside of city living. Even if you do the math, right? Like spending extra money on rent to just be able to live in a, a nice new apartment building condo thing in the heart of downtown and be able to walk to everything is might be the best mode of living um but then again like if you're just kind of like me kind of nomading around you know, mostly on the road most of the time then you can just be flexible while you're stationed in different places it's actually funny because like kind of being a nomad you're almost kind of like a military soldier in so far much as you're being restationed to different places and also I think for human nature and just life in general, the being able to have that dynamic range and exchange is actually good for our souls and our spirits because if you spend too much time always in the same place all, all the time, you kind of your mind becomes ossified and it prevents you from essentially being able to uh, add variety and differences to your schedule and stuff like that. So yeah, I think uh, one of the things that's critical to consider is, yeah, with life and life in general, allow yourself some variation, some more randomness and chance, and not to always be doing things the same, same way. 
Also another funny thing in the burbs. Ironically enough, I think jaywalking is actually safer than taking the crosswalk because when you're jaywalking, you actually gotta pay attention so you don't wanna die. But if you take a crosswalk, you know, easy to text while walking and you die that way. Anyways, um, yeah, so yeah, I mean, just some simple tips. Like if you're living somewhere that's cool or whatever, just buy a $5,000 Canada goose jacket and just spend as much time humanly possible outdoors. Uh, in terms of winter boots, I really like uh, La Sportiva. I uh, just got an REI for like 200 bucks, totally worth it. Get some nice merino wool socks or even better, alpaca socks. Gotta get the alpaca. And just layer up, just wear all the down you. Even Uniqlo, they're ultra light down. I, on one of the cool days, I put on an ultra light, a light down vest, which I got from Muji. And then just like a simple ultra light down hoodie. I think I got on clearance, the Jean-Michel Basquiat designed from like seven years ago. So he got on clearance for like 20, 30 bucks. And it's pretty warm too. So just layer up, spend more time outdoors. Um, I think in terms of productivity and productivity wise, uh, spending more time in the natural outdoors is actually superior for productivity because the more time you spend outdoors, I have a theory that like, you know, humans were kind of like plants, photosynthesis, you get more sunlight, it actually, charges up your metabolism and stuff like that. Also one of the big benefits of just being out and about and just being able to walk is, I think there's a lot of intelligence which gleans, which you glean while we're walking. And this is where I like this street vlogging notion where while just walking around the block or anywhere, <clears throat> to be able to vlog your thoughts is a very effective way to, yeah, to, to come up with ideas and share your thoughts and stuff like that. Um, even in terms of house design, right? Like, what would my ideal house look like? It's just it's a bit like a glass cube. <laughs> glass cube with some curtains when I go to sleep. But besides that, yeah, the... Um, I mean, it also depends on where you live. Especially if you live where somewhere where it's like, the winters are brutal. I really do think, yeah, like, spending the money to live in a high-rise condo, which directly faces the sun so you can catch some natural light is probably the most superior thing you do for your human physiology. Also, ideally, a lot of these condos where they have the free air conditioning heated included, and then you could always kind of be at the ideal optimal temperature, regardless of uh, where he is. That's, that's one of the things that I think home ownership is such a sucker's game because you know, buy the house, whatever, it's like, you still gotta pay for heating and gas and electric and water. And I think it ends up making you live more Hmm. like penny pinching than like living more like lavishly or more prodigally the prodigal son yeah prodigal son uh so like yeah like when i was uh, living in our old minimalist apartment in providence rhode island i love you be able to always crank the heat and uh, and yeah i just like care less uh and actually one of the thoughts i have towards entrepreneurship is i think if you actually want to become more innovative uh, being more wasteful is actually a virtue, not a vice. Um, I mean, I don't know your family situation did it growing up, but then typically also in America, immigrants, to be frugal and economical is seen as the greatest virtue and to be wasteful is seen as the greatest sin. But in today's world of uber abundance, we kind of had to rewrite the tables and the laws. So know that you're in a position of uber abundance and uh, leverage that uber abundance to do something great.